I was reminded of the prophet Elijah and how he knew what it was like to experience the power of God in his life. He knew what it was like to prophesy the word of the Lord and God's word would come to pass. He knew what it was like to pray for somebody that was dead and life came back into the body. But Elijah also knew what it was like to run in fear for his life. He knew what it was like to allow the enemy, Jezebel, and yes, the spirit of Jezebel does exist today. Jezebel is always trying to destroy the work of the Lord, trying to get us to walk in unbelief and doubt what God said. The goal of the enemy is to get you to obey him rather than obey God. So don't let that happen. See, Elijah ran in fear because of Jezebel. Jezebel sent out her army to go after him instead of standing up in the power of God. I mean, he just wiped out her prophets, prophets of Baal, destroyed all of them because he stood up in the name of the Lord. See, God wants you to stand up today. Doesn't want you to run in fear. Stand your ground in the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. If you believe on Christ today, you are filled with the power of God. Dunamis power. You have the authority of Jesus Christ to speak to the spirit of Jezebel in the name of the Lord. And that spirit has to go. It's time to get out of that cave. It's time to get out of that place of complacency. It's time to get out of that place of fear. It's time to get out of that place of anxiety. It's time to arise and shine. For the light has come and the glory of the Lord is upon you and in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You have the power. So it's time to get up. You see, the angel of the Lord came to Elijah and said, what are you doing here in this cave? What are you doing here? It's time to get up from this place and go forth. So that's exactly what Elijah had to do. So God's word today is get up and go forth in his anointing, go forth in his glory, go forth in his word, get up and go forth and walk in the victory that God has laid up for you.